What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video. If you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notification so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be giving you guys a basic tutorial on how to use Procreate. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay. First thing you want to do, you want to come to the top right corner and you want to click that plus symbol. And then let's go to new canvas. Now, this is the layer where you set up the quality you want to use and it show you the max layers you can use with the size of the canvas you select. So the bigger I go at my page, the less layers I get to use. And I like to use inches. Let me see. I'm gonna show you right here. Hold up, turn that eight, eight by eight. So it's showing me right now, if I use eight by eight, the maximum layers I get to use is 89. So watch this. If I go up to 18 by 18, I only get 14 layers. But the bigger your canvas is, the more detail you'll be able to squeeze in there. You know what I'm saying? So I think 18 by 18 is a good size. And if you need a few more layers, we can change that 18 to 18 to 15 to... 15 and now look we get 22 layers you know what i'm saying 300 resolution make sure you put it on 300 res and hit create then it's gonna bring you inside procreate so what you want to do every time i'm drawing like before i start a serious drawing i come up here to my um my pencil brush and you can leave the, the first one selected make it as big as possible and i always start out with a sketch i don't care what you're doing you know what i'm saying you want to always start out with a nice little sketch man so let's just make a little quick little quick little sketch you know what i'm saying you always want to get get your whole picture measured measured out you feel me Let's just say I was drawing this like this. Zoom. 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 Let's, got us a nice little sketch. So, boom. Okay, cool. Made us a nice little sketch to go off of. Now, after I do my sketch, I like to drop the opacity down by you clicking this N letter. Letter N. And you just slide it to this way. Then we're going to hit plus to create a new layer. Let's go to the color black. And what I do my line work with is the inking go to the inking section and then you want to go to studio pen now nah, you want to go to technical pen that's what you do your line work with okay now grab your two fingers and you you spread them out to zoom in and you spread them together to zoom back close so now let's uh if you want to make your line smoother while you're drawing, all you got to do is click onto the brush, go inside of it, go to stable, stabilization, and you just move your stable up some. So it'll help you correct your lines as you draw. That's if you need help making them more sharp. Drag this color black and drop it in there to fill it in. So let's do the same thing for this side. I 
Also, you guys leave in the comment section of some tutorials you would like me to touch on inside of uh, Procreate. And I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys. So, right now we just drawing our character out. And you see my sketch layer was just used to get a nice little layout. And I'm just going back through and I'm cleaning everything up. You know what I'm saying? Let's come right here. And feel that again like that. Come right here. And feel that again. Boom. Then we're going to do his hair. Wait, let's do this. His uh, face. Let's do the outline of his face real quick. So I guess. But yeah, man, a sketch is very important. Anytime you start it now with a picture, you want to get your sketch right first. Now let's go ahead and draw his line up like this. Now we can just close his hair off like this. Also. Feel this in, boom. Now that we got all this filled in, you know what I'm saying? Got our, got our line work finished. What I like to do is delete the sketch layer and make a copy of the line work, duplicate it. Now, let me, um, Find us a nice little skin tone. And you just drag and drop. You know what I'm saying? And you see how I left the lips and the eyes plain. Because we're going to do the lips and the eyes on another layer. So how we going to do that? we just going to make another copy of the line work. And we're going to come right here above it. And this is going to be for the lips and the eyes, the lips and the eyes layer. So, find us a nice little color like that. And go a little brighter. Like that. And then for the eyes, go like this. Okay, cool. Cool is good. So now, what we're gonna do, let's create a blank layer. Let's put it underneath the lip layer with the colors and above the color layer. So I'm gonna go down to my color layer and we're gonna click it and go to select. Make sure this paint bucket is not selected. So what, what this is doing is making sure whatever we do, it don't let us color outside of those lines. So now I'm gonna come to my blank, my blank page. I'm gonna select my color by holding my finger on the color and I'm gonna create a shadow from that. So I think that's a nice little shadow. And now, while I'm on my blank layer, we're going to draw out some shadows. Make sure we closing these lines off, though, and fill it in. So, that's how we doing. 
making sure we close every line off so it'll be easier to fill in see what i'm doing coming back and i'm making sure that my shadow layers connect so i don't have any paint bucket issues come on up like that drag and drop that's all you want to do Do one more shadow, but we're going in for the big shadow. If you want to be lazy and give it a background, all you got to do is select the background color and switch it to where you want it to be. You feel me? Let's create one more layer at the very top. And we're going to do something for his eyes. So I'm still on my technical pin. We're just going to create a space for it like this and then create another little space for it like this and then we're going to select the color white and go just like this. Yeah, V, but yeah, man, I'm just having fun now. But there you have it, man. How to use Procreate for beginners. I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you stay tuned because more heat coming soon. Y'all leave some comments in the comment section for me. And I'm out.